Hey everybody, so today we're going to do a, a semi-unboxing and first impressions of the Concord Deluxe Banjo Burner. Okay, so here's all the parts out of the box. You cut, you've got the main burner head and frame. The burner head measures 10 inches across. The square frame is 16 by 16. You've got your two leg assemblies according to instructions. Once assembled, it's going to stand 16 inches high. You've got your uh, propane hose down here, right? You've got your instru instruction manual and a little bag of bolts and nuts that holds all this together. So there's only 10 bolts that are required for assembly, and Concord does provide this very basic Phillips head screwdriver and uh, wrench. But we're going to go ahead and use our own ratcheting wrench to speed things up. Not that this is real complicated. Instructions were included in the, in the user manual, but it doesn't really show you anything. It just says uh, basically line up holes with other holes and put a bolt through it and tighten it down. Okay, so assembly is really easy. It's taking less than five minutes from start to finish. But one little tip would be, is I went ahead and turned this upside down to assemble it. There's uh, one piece here in the center for a bolt where the holes line up. Put that in first and finger tighten it. That way it holds the leg steady while you're putting the rest of the bolts in. Then the second little tip was, there's two uh, bolts that go on each side of the leg. Put your outside bolt in first. And you can use this little wrench to hold on to it. And it's easier to get to if you don't have both bolts in place. So put the outside in first. That'll let you get a wrench on there. Tighten it. Then put the second bolt on. Tighten it. And you're golden. So when I was researching this burner, one of the things a uh, previous reviewer talked about was removing this sticker, which is located on the side of the burn chamber here, the, the little wall that protects the burn head. It's just a plastic sticker that gives you some instructions, but uh, save it, but remove it or else it's just going to melt because this wall will get very hot. So Concord provides this heavy duty hose and regulator. Uh, this hose is 48 inches long. The only thing left to do is this has a little plastic cap, remove that. So for clarification, the burn head itself is uh, set up to put out up to 200,000 PSI. The hose is rated, the hose and regulator connector are rated at 20 PSI. This allows you to regulate the amount of oxygen that gets into the uh, burn chamber up here and your ideal flame is a blue flame. So we'll get this set up outside in a minute and see how she does. Before I light it, I'm going to go ahead and try tightening this a little bit, just to be safe. I do recommend keeping the burner at least 24 inches away from the propane cylinder, which it is. There we go. Took a couple seconds for the gas to get to the burner head. So adjust the little regulator here for air. You see the more I open it. Actually it's pretty good right there. Ideally you want a blue flame. So just make the adjustments you need to until your flame is predominantly blue. So this is about this is about the lowest setting I can get before it goes out. And I think this is gonna work great for uh, seasoning cast iron cooking. I have a couple of square carbon steel skillets. One is the skirtle, the other one's a skillet hack. And these will fit on here perfectly. Now I did want to run to hide to burn off any residue and paint that's on these pot supports. So we're going to let that go for about five minutes or so and see what happens. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's a pretty flame. So this is the uh, 10 by 10 inch cooking surface skirtle that I used in my uh, video a while back making beef bacon. And this will fit perfectly on top of this burner head. Maximizing the burner head size and the cooking surface here. Also great for uh, heat distribution. Now I can deep fry or fry things outside. 
re-season cast iron as necessary, and that stink up the house. That's going to make the girlfriend very happy. So this wraps up uh, the unboxing assembly and initial impressions of the Concord Banjo Propane Burner. Uh, I'll come up with some recipe ideas, and uh, as soon as possible I'll try to get a video out where I'm actually cooking something on here, showcasing one of the square skillets I have on top of this burner. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Take care.